Look at that. Perfect to the dot. That's what we like to see. What's going on Team Lethal fans? Joe with Lethal Performance here and today it is time for the oil change for the Bronco. Now this thing hasn't had an oil change yet in its life so we're going to do it right here with our friends from Liquid Molly. We've got the specialty oil here 5W30 that is made specifically spec for this vehicle. You want to make sure you get the correct spec for the vehicle. This is 5W30 for both Asian and American cars. We also have their engine flush here which we're going to be using here shortly. Basically what you do is you pour this in let that thing idle and that is with the old oil let it idle for 20 minutes and then go ahead and pour it out basically just clears any of the blockages or anything that could be built up inside of the engine there where the oil runs and lastly here we have the cream of the crop the, the cherry on the pie Saratech. now Saratech is basically going to coat the, the whole inside of the motor basically give it a layer of protection as well as lower the friction so that your oil temps stay a little lower than they normally do overall it's just the Thing that you're going to want especially on a new engine give it a little bit extra life and ultimately keep everything nice and happy on the inside lastly we're going to go ahead and add a upr drain plug to the mix this has a magnetic tip on the end of it so it can pick up any little metal contaminants that are floating around in the oil as well as make it a lot easier to change the oil in the next round here get rid of that nasty plastic oil drain plug that comes stock from the factory so let's go ahead get it started with the engine flush. All right, the first step here before we even get to any of the actual oil change itself is going to be actually adding the Liquid Molly engine flush. This goes in before you start the oil change in the old oil. What you want to do is get the vehicle up to running temp, get the oil up to its operating temperature, and then add it to the oil. Once you have it added, let the vehicle run for 20 minutes just in idle, then turn it off, do the oil change, and you will notice that the oil will actually turn into kind of a very liquidy, it'll break itself down so to say. That'll help break down any buildups in the engine. Doesn't matter whether your engine's got 30,000 miles on it or 130,000 miles, it's never a bad idea to start with engine flush, simply because you don't want any buildups in the motor clogging any of the oiling ports throughout the entire motor. That's probably the worst thing that you can do to your motor, and therefore, we're gonna start with a little bit of engine flush. Let's go ahead and pour it in. Of course, we've already got the Bronco up to a running temp. It's been running right now for about 30 minutes or so. So it's very interesting, very liquidy. So we actually chose to go with the UPR drain plug that comes with the drain on it instead of the one that's just your regular replacement, simply just because it looked better with the truck. It's got a little blue finish to it. If you want some, check it out in the description below. We do have it as long with the oil package. There we go, we've got a brand new filter, three brand new O-rings all from Motocraft here. We're gonna go ahead and torque down the housing now and get going with adding all the fancy additives. 
So now that we finished topping off the Bronco here with the liquid molly oil, we did just a little less than seven quarts because we're gonna be adding the liquid molly Ceratec into the mix here. Now the Ceratec is going to be a chemical blend between a friction modifier as well as a ceramic chemical. Basically the ceramic portion of stuff is going to give the cylinder walls a coating, a lining, basically take away any of the imperfections from the factory and ultimately make the engine run a little bit smoother than it already was. Another note though, with the friction modifier side of things now, the friction modifier is going to limit the friction all over the engine, of course, mainly in the cylinder walls. And they do state that it will lower your engine oil temperatures from five to 10 degrees, depending on the variables. So let's go ahead, add this puppy in, see what it can do. Remember, before you add it, you gotta shake it up. The two different chemicals in there will separate if it's been sitting for a little while, so you wanna make sure to shake it up real good. This looks weird. Shake it up real good before you add it so that the, both of the chemicals are perfectly mixed and you don't get any weirdness going on in the engine. Now don't be alarmed, it is supposed to look that color. So now we've got everything buttoned up up here. We've got the UPR catch cam back on. There was a little bit in there, so we dumped it out, made sure everything was clean there. We've got the brand new oil filter back together here with a Motocraft filter along with the O-rings in there. Everything's already tightened down, buttoned up. Let's go ahead and give it a start up. Make sure everything's fine, no leaks. And uh, yeah, let's see what this uh, Ceratec's all about. So now we're gonna go ahead and reset the oil life here because we just put some fresh oil in there. Go to settings, go to oil life, go ahead and hold OK, because we just put some brand new oil in there, and bam, got 100% oil life, now you'll know when to change it. All right, so there we go, perfect to the dot with some nice crystal clear, beautiful oil. So that completes the oil change video here for the Bronco. All the Liquid Molly stuff is now in there with the Ceratec. We have these packages available on our website, lethalperformance.com. We've got them available with and without the UPR drain plugs if you already have it or if you'd like to add it on. We also have it available with Ceratec, without Ceratec, with engine flush, without engine flush. We have it all available here at lethalperformance.com. Check the link in the description below. This has been Joe with Lethal Performance, and I'm out. I do, I've done this. I, I know I gotta slam it, I just don't feel comfortable doing it. <laughs>